Good morning. Today was one of those days as I woke up and the rain was pouring against the roof. The wind could be heard outside the window. And I said a moment of gratitude and thanksgiving for warm bed, for warm home, and being able to be at peace. What also happens, and I think it's so important for all of us, whatever it is for you, that when you first wake up in the morning, it can be so impulsive to rush out of bed and begin the day, begin work, begin whatever the stresses are, whatever the obligations are that are on your shoulders. But stopping for a minute, waking up, and not just slowly waking up from sleep, but once you are awake, taking time to stop. Reflection, gratitude, whatever it is for you in the quiet moments, so that by the time you get out of bed, you consciously get out of bed with you. You're not just flying through. The only focus really in your life is your job. Take time to start the day feeling present to you. And whether that means, you know, your morning rituals in the bedroom and in the bathroom and then coming downstairs, putting on a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, taking some time to start the day with you in gratitude and just in presence. Because once we come into the office, whether you're working in, in, in a large corporate setting or you're working in a home office with numerous VAs and associates and peers that you connect with during the course of the day, once the day begins, most all of us know demands, expectations, things that are needed yesterday, things that people want immediately. There's always these demands in our system and we can have a set schedule about what we want to accomplish today and all these other interruptions, if you will, come in. Everything that needs to be dealt with. When we don't have that solid morning presence, it just seems as if our life is pure chaos. Nobody wants to live in chaos. It's, it's a fear-based place. It's an avoidance place. It's a place where we live when you're in chaos that gives you permission to not have to feel, not have to think, not have to do much of anything and just run from theoretical crises. Instead of living in that reactionary lifestyle, if we live in a grounded lifestyle, a present lifestyle, starting off with taking time for us in the morning and we can walk in and do our job, do what needs to get done, respond rather than react. Also knowing that at the end of the day, we have another quiet time coming. We have a time when even if the office is theoretically closed and you stay and catch up on things in a peaceful, calm way with a cup of tea or whatever for you, catching up in a peaceful, calm way, knowing that this is your day. It's not an event to be survived. It's not an event to be gotten through. It's a way of doing your life and living your purpose. That this journey we are walking, it's really about what, what supports you being present in it versus jumping in and flying and losing touch with who you are. Give yourself a break. Take time in the morning to connect with who you are before you enter this, this world of, of success in business. And when you're finished, end the day with more time for you and your family and your loved ones so that you can be truly present there as well. It's too easy to make this cycle of demands and unlimited demands a way of life and forget that you're here to do so much more than simply have your career. Living our life purpose is more than just work. It's also living in our own presence and becoming more involved with who we are and who we're becoming. While we grow in relationships, we grow in our ability to love, our ability to be present, and our ability to be at peace, even in a crazy world that feels so much calling to war. We can be at a place where we are called to peace. Wishing you the best. Have a good day.